the wilderness a place of solitude. Mark chapter 1, verses 11 to 13. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. This week, we're considering what the wilderness represents uh, and the significance of the, the fact that the Holy Spirit sent Jesus into the wilderness first before the launching of his ministry. And we must be open to the moving of the Holy Spirit as he sends us out or as he leads us into our time in the wilderness, which is basically uh, a time when we, we said, it's a time when we separate ourselves unto God. And we also understand that the wilderness is a place of solitude. It's a place of being alone with God, where it is only you and God. You know, sometimes we're afraid to be alone with God because we're afraid what will happen. But really, our time alone with God is a time of great strengthening. Like what Isaiah writes in Isaiah 40 verse 31, he said, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Uh, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So our time of solitude, our time alone with God is really a time where you're waiting on the Lord. And in the process of just waiting on Him, he is actually renewing you. Your strength is being reinvigorated, is being renewed, enabling you or preparing you for what, come, what is lying up ahead. So the wilderness space speaks to us not only of, of a time of separation, but it's also speaking to us as of a time of solitude where you are engaging with God, just you and God. You see, when we go to church, when we come into gatherings, uh, there is a corporate time and together with other people, we are engaging with God and that's important and, uh, and that has its place. But there are times when God says, I want to meet you in the wilderness, meaning I want, you to meet, I want to meet you in that place of solitude where it's just you and God and God can work in you personally. So when the Holy Spirit prompts you, to move into that wilderness space, move into a time where you seek God just all by yourself. Yield to that, even as the Lord Jesus yielded to the leading of the Holy Spirit to go into the wilderness. Remember, in that place of solitude, you are receiving great strength from God, preparing you for what He's going to launch you into. The wilderness is a place of solitude. It's a place of strength renewal. Heal yourself to the Holy Spirit as He prompts you into your place of solitude. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what we can learn from the example that Jesus set for us, that He Himself yielded to the leading of the Spirit to go into the wilderness, into that place of solitude with the Father, in that season of solitude before he stepped out into a powerful ministry. Help us, give us the grace to do this ourselves over and over again in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.